it's your favorite auntie Mo and I am back for another episode review of Catfish. I know what you're thinking. Auntie, Catfish is over with. How are you coming with the new review? Well, let me tell you how. Because there were a couple of episodes that I watched this past weekend that I had not seen before. And those episodes aired when I had not particularly started my YouTube channel just yet. So, I wanted to go back and give you guys the review to a couple of episodes that I loved that were crazy as hell to me that I figured you guys would review. Plus, I mean, ugh, figured you guys would enjoy. Plus, a lot of y'all really do like my catfish reviews. A lot of y'all, I love the comments that y'all give. I love the feedback that y'all give me. So, I figured if I enjoy them, I'm sure y'all will enjoy them. So, this episode review is going to be Shekinah and Chris. Y'all get your cups ready to sip on something. Now, Auntie's stomach has been hurting for a while. You know, I got the bad guts. So, I'm sipping on some water today. I don't know what y'all sipping on. Let me go ahead and get a little sip right now. Mm. ASMR, hey. But, hopefully y'all are ready for the review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all, so we got 31-year-old Shekinah. She is from California. She lives with her parents and she has a 14-year-old son. She has been talking to Chris, 29 years old. They both live in California, but live in different cities, right? Now, her and Chris have been talking for the last three years. They met on Facebook. She sent him an inbox message. He replied quick as hell back to her. They exchanged phone numbers and they have been talking ever since. Now, they haven't met up. Um, whenever they video chat, his end is very, very dark. They talk on the phone, um, of course, and um, she says they haven't met up mainly because he is super, super busy. He's a recording artist. He's always on tour. She knows that there's millions and millions of women across the country who love him and who want to be with him. And, you know, she's just, she's out of her mind in love with this guy. He chose her over the millions of women that he could have. Now, I know what you're thinking. Auntie, who is this dude she says she with? Now, once again, this is Shekinah, guys. Black girl magic. Let's not give it to her, okay? I mean, let's give it to her. Her skin is beautiful, just like pearls. Wouldn't change it for the world, okay? This is Shekinah. Now, she has been talking to Chris. Chris Breezy. See Breezy, I make him do it. Mr. Your Man Ain't Me. Mr. Run It, Run It, Mr. 1-800 Choke That Hoe. That's who she been talking to, right? Okay. Now, of course, when she talks with Neve, his co-host, by the way, is Cammie Crawford. I love Cammie Crawford. She is so beautiful. But when she talks with Neve and Cammie, of course, they're like, okay, now, girl, um, how you think are you talking to Chris Brown? Like, what make you, like, Wait, huh? Wait, huh? You talking to, okay, what make you think you're talking to Chris Brown? She like, well, I've studied his voice in interviews that he does on TV. I've heard him on the radio, and I've compared that voice to the voice that I hear on the phone, and so that's how I know for a fact that it's him. Now, in the midst of them talking, Chris supposedly asked her if he can have another girlfriend. She was okay with that. Why not? I mean, pfft. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Her thing was, he really does like me. I love him. And, you know, I don't want to mess nothing up from him. So if he says he wants another girlfriend, then I want him. You know, that's fine. So this other girlfriend, her name is Takoya. Right? Now, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of Takoya. I don't know what she looks like. Well, there was a picture that they showed of her. It was a real quick blur, but I couldn't even really take a picture of it. Anyways, so she said that Chris has actually put them on the phone together. They've had a three-way conversation because he wanted them to meet. Of course, he wants his current girlfriend to meet his next girlfriend and probably the next one after that. So they get on the phone and they're having a three-way conversation. Shekinah will talk with Takoya first, and then she'll talk with Chris. She'll talk with Takoya, and she'll talk with Chris. 
Never at the same time have these two talked on the phone when they were on three-way. It was always one at a time that was talking with her, right? So Neve asked her, how do you all mainly communicate with each other? She said we mainly communicate through Facebook, through his personal page, not his fan page, his regular page with the blue check mark, right? Some other personal page that only a few people know about because that's his personal, personal page. Neve is like, how do you know that that's his personal page, girl? Well, it has a picture of his daughter on there, so that's how I know. Duh, Neve. Baby, anybody could have did that. Anybody could have did that. But you, uh, you know, but hey, we gon' we gonna let the thing ride with her. She feels she's talking to Chris Breezy, Fall Sheezy, 1 800 Mr. Chuck That Ho. You got it, boo. You got it. Now they ask her, what all pictures do you have of Chris? Has he sent you other pictures of you? I mean, other pictures of him, like personal pictures? She only has one picture of his face. But she got three peen pics from him. One picture of this man's face. Three supposed pictures of his penile. Now she done sent him all kinds of pictures of her. Inside, outside, upside, downside, back and forth. She done sent this man all kinds of pictures. Supposedly, but in three years, you got one picture of his face and three pictures of his penile and you've talked with him FaceTime when it's completely dark on his end and you're 31 years old, you a grown ass woman, you look like you're in your right mind, you don't look like there's nothing going on kind of up here and you, 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 I mean, but you talking to Chris Brown, girl, you got to So she says it was one night they were supposed to meet. She told Chris that she was going to West Hollywood for her birthday, so she told him, come meet me there. He said, okay, cool. So she's outside the club chilling with a homegirl. She sees a black car pull up at the light, and it's a dude in there with a dark hat on and some dark glasses. He looks over at her, the light changes green, and the dude drives off. She just knew for a fact that was Chris Brown, so she said she calls him, bae, bae, I was right here. Why you pull off and leave for me? Like, why you leave? <laughs> you see me for real? Then you see me at the light? <laughs> Girl, my bad, my bad. You gonna stop playing with me. Y'all gonna stop playing with me. Y'all gonna stop playing with me. But she forgave him because she loved him. You know, she was just happy that she got to see his shadow drive by. Y'all, I can't make this up. I'm not making this up. This is the episode. You don't believe me, go put, push pause on this and go watch it right now. I'm, I'm not making this up. This is for real. So they asked her, do you have any voicemail messages of him? Like, have y'all ever, something that we can listen to. So she's like, oh yeah, I got a voicemail message that he left me. Girl, they listened to the voicemail message. It sounded exactly what Cammy said it was. It was either a 13 year old boy or a 20 year old woman. Baby, that wasn't Chris Brown. Girl, what interviews was you watching? Which ones, when, when, when was you watching interviews and you figured that that voice was Chris? Girl! So, Neve and Cammy do some investigation, right? Like they normally do. You know, they some damn super sleuths. So, they run the phone number, and the number comes back as a Michigan phone number. Uh, as we know, Chris Breezy ain't from Michigan. He from Virginia. So, if that was his number, it would be a Virginia number. That's what they saying. They search the email that she sends to him. They do a reverse search on there, and they don't see anything on there. They search the fake profile, and they see that there's a couple of pictures on there, here and there, and the one mutual friend that the both of them have is Takoya. They go and they search Takoya's page. No, they go and they search Chris's, um, his original Facebook page, the real one with the little blue certified check mark. And they see that he's got dozens of pictures on there. Pictures galore. He recently bought a puppy and he has pictures of the puppy on there. But they're like, okay, she kind of never mentioned anything about a puppy. If she was really talking to Chris, don't she think that he would have mentioned something about the damn dogs or would have sent her pictures or something like that? Like, girl, you, you, like, she gonna need a lot of convincing. 
a lot of convincing to believe that she is not talking to Chris Brown. So they end up finding Takoya's Facebook page. They inbox Takoya and you know, hello, this is me from Catfish. We're trying to get some information. We're trying to help Shekinah get in touch with Chris. Do you know Chris and how do you know him? She's like, yeah, that's my boyfriend, you know. Why, what's good? So they ask her, how do you know for sure that this is Chris that you're talking to? She says as well, she's heard his, his voice over the phone, so that's how she knows for a fact that it's him. They ask her about Shekinah. Do you know Shekinah? Because we're trying to help Shekinah get in contact with Chris. She says she does know Shekinah. They talked on the phone and they've gotten really close ever since then. Basically, they, they sister wives is what that is. They all sister wives all up in this damn thing. So they get off the phone. I mean, they stop finished. Um, they finish texting Sequoia because they really don't get a whole lot of information out of her. But... For some reason, because they don't have a lot of information to go off of, but the fact that Takoya is the only link that they have to her and Chris Brown, they think that maybe Takoya actually has a crush on Shekinah, so she made up this fake Chris Brown persona just so she could be friends with, you know, Takoya as well as, you know, be the girlfriend of Chris Brown. Something twisted that Neve and Cammy were just trying to puzzle together because it was crazy because it made no sense that this woman thought in her head that she was really talking to Chris. Girl, if you was talking to Chris Brown, I got LeBron James in my bathroom tied up right damn now. I'm just lying, but don't tell nobody. Y'all, so they go back and they tell Shekinah everything that they find out. Y'all, it is so sick sad because she's still not getting it they're like look here we didn't already confirm you know we're pretty much for damn show that you were not talking to chris and the page that you know you gave us why would you be talking to him on that page and not his original page and he didn't mention nothing to you about these doggone puppies that he just got so we thinking that maybe it's to call you trying to run run a game she's like no i don't i don't think it would be like she's She's really not getting it. So they call Chris Breezy and leave him a voicemail. Immediately, they get a text message back that says, this is not Chris, this is his friend. Chris will never do the show, he will never come clean. They're like, what the hell? So then they get another text right after that and it was like, I'm sitting right here next to Chris. He's trying to ghost you guys. You need to come to Lansing, Michigan quick ASAP and I'll explain everything when you get here on some old scary movie type crap like what you mean come here ASAP and you explain everything to like get my white van with some candy no nah, hell no but Neve you know Neve ain't scared of shit Neve holla at me let me be your co-host Neve they saddle up and ride on out to Michigan y'all <laughs> y'all so they get to Michigan they get to the address that was texted to them they get to the house as they're pulling up, it's a chick standing in the driveway. They get out and go to her like, uh, is you Chris? She's like, no, my name is Tracosi. Chris is in the house. So they like, okay. So you the friend, you Chris's friend. She's like, yeah, I'm Chris's friend. I'm just trying to, you know, help you guys get to the bottom of this. I'll go get Chris. So they're like, okay, they waiting outside. She stops and she says, before I go in, I just want to let you know that I love you, Chris loves you, Chris has a lot of feelings for you, and he just has a lot that he needs to explain to you, so please, please, please just go easy on him. It was weird as hell, weird as hell. Then she goes inside the house, the door kept opening and closing like she trying to open it and somebody kept closing and opening the door. Shit was weird. If I was Shekinah, I'd have been like, you know what the hell with it? I ain't talking to Chris. Y'all right. Just take me to the house. I don't know what the hell going on here. Y'all, so the door opens up and out walks Chris. This is Chris, y'all. Her name is Janisha. This is a lady who's been pretending to be Chris the whole time. And this is her friend, Betty. Okay, well this is the girl who claimed her name was Betty. This was Tracosi. This is her friend that was helping her do this catfishing the whole time. 
This girl says she started this page when she was in the 10th grade and she's been doing this to half us for forever. Her longest relationship was over seven years. Said it started out as a joke, but then she got too deep in it. She says she'd been bullied all through middle school and high school, and so this was a way for her to just get away and escape and to just, you know, be a totally different person, a totally different persona. Now, I get it. You you had a you had a hard childhood because you were bullied this that and the other. But I'm sorry, it cannot take away the fact that what you did, that what this girl did, was wrong as hell. She had now true enough, Shekinah. How you girl? How you ain't know you wasn't talking to Chris Brown? Like come on, come on, baby girl. How you not know that? I, you know, you got about 60% fault, well, 70% fault in this, because Janisha wasn't even doing a good job of pretending to be Chris Brown. She was half-ass doing it, so anybody would have figured that out. But, you know, Shekinah's upset. She wants to leave. She goes to the car. Cammy goes there to comfort her. Before they leave, Tricosi's like, well, can I go to the car and can I tell her, you know, can I apologize to her because I'm not going to be here later and I just want to apologize to her for my part. So she goes to the car. She tells Shekinah, I apologize. You know, um, I didn't mean for the, any of this to happen. Please forgive me. Please accept my apology. Blah, 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 blah. Later on, they take a break, they go back, they talk with Janisha. These names, Dracoshi, Janisha, and Shekinah. Lord, have mercy. But, oh, Shekinah, that was it. But they go back, they talk with Janisha, and basically, you know, Shekinah was very kind to her. Now, she could have went in on her ass. She could have really went in on her ass, but she didn't do that. You know, she understood where she was coming from because Shekinah had some own hurt of her own you know she said she was straight out of a 12-year relationship when she got with chris and so they were a comfort to one another so you know janisha couldn't express verbally how she felt so she wrote a letter apologizing saying that she loved her she had deep feelings for her and she hoped that she could forgive her and she hoped that they could continue on and be friends now shakina tells her i keep going back and forth on her name shakina she kind of Sh Shakina, y'all know what I'm talking about. She says it's going to take some time, but if she is feeling down and depressed, she can call her anytime that she would like. You know, she ain't going to turn her back on her. She ain't going to be mean to her. Again, she had every right to because this girl, but then again, baby, how you ain't know you weren't talking no damn Chris Brown? So y'all, they end up doing the two-month follow-up with them. You know, they're both doing good. I don't think Janisha re reached back. No, Janisha did reach back out to them. She canceled the Chris Brown page, so she ain't out here catfishing chickens no more. Y'all, <laughs> you, ca I can't, I couldn't go see the episode. If y'all don't believe me, this girl really thought she was talking to Chris Dan Brown. Mr. Your Man Ain't Me, Mr. Run It, Run It, Mr. 1-800 Choke That Hole. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this review. Um, again, there's a couple of other episodes of Catfish that I saw that I thought were hilarious that I thought that you all would review that I will be bringing to you soon. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie and Her Water, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.